Most of us are probably familiar with the Charging Bull statue in the Finance District of Manhattan. It embodies the optimistic nature of a bull market. It also has come to symbolize the aggressive culture that many finance firms have become infamous for. Maybe not everyone is as familiar with the Fearless Girl statue. She was installed two years ago facing off against the bull, and she stands hands on her hip, defiant, opposite the bull. And she has come to symbolize a call for more women to be included in the very male-dominated finance sector. In 2008, the fall of the Lehman Brothers financial services firm was seen as a tipping point as what plunged the US economy into recession. Just too many reckless and irresponsible risks led to its downfall. But what if the Lehman Brothers had instead been the Lehman Sisters? This is what industry leaders and scholars started to ask after the crash. Women represent just 30% average of risk management positions in these firms. But what if we tip the scale towards equity? Would more responsible risks be taken? There's preliminary research that suggests that this could be the case, but no one really knows because we haven't formally tested this hypothesis. Until now. I do this in my dissertation. I use 10 years of data from the entire population of securities firms in the United States. And I look to see whether firms that employ more women within these key risk management positions have fewer criminal financial violations. I also interviewed over 60 men and women that work in the industry to really get an understanding for the cultural context of these firms. What I found was that for every percentage increase a firm has of women in these roles, there is a corresponding decrease in the number of violations they have. This is support for the Lehman Sisters hypothesis. This is a good news story. But it is not the end of the story. Because unfortunately, finance firms have a retention problem. Despite two decades of ongoing recruitment efforts for women into these firms and into these roles, it has remained stubbornly at 30%. Why? Well, when I went back to my interview data and when I looked at other research, what I found was that women in this industry experience high levels of discrimination and harassment. And this causes women to leave or lose their jobs more often. We need to hire women into these positions, not just for social justice reasons, but it simply makes good economic sense. But to retain women into these positions, we cannot depend on the individual efforts of fearless women to stand off against the culture in these firms. Instead, we need to work to change the industry and the culture of these firms so that women have nothing to fear in the first place. Thank you.